So I've gone out to Spotlight and picked up the material that I want to be using for my curtains. It's got black on one side to insulate it a little bit and then this is the colour that um, I wanted to use. Now I don't have a fucking clue how to sew, so basically I've seen a couple videos where people have like their full on sewing boards, like all this equipment and stuff. What I have is a tape measure, a level, a sharpie and a 10th grade understanding of maths. So. This could really go anywhere, but um, I've worked out roughly how much I want my overlaps to be. And I'm gonna cut to the largest point. And then if I've done my working out correctly, as long as I keep the gaps the right length the whole way, that should hopefully end up being somewhat the right shape. I might leave a link to a couple of actual better sewing videos that I used to get me to this point, but yeah, you're better off going somewhere else for how to sew videos. So here's my first hem. I'm gonna be doing all of them at 40 millimeters in. And then the top part that slides on the rail, I've decided to go 60 millimeters down. So that way it has a lot more room to slide through freely. So I'm hoping that this will work quite well to still give it that sort of boho look on the inside nice and neat while providing a bit of blackout from the sun. Alright, so this is the first one done. And if I can do them all this well, I'll be happy. This is the one that's going to divide the front section from the back. So that's all hemmed. I've left this slit open so I can chuck a magnet in there to stick it to the body of the vehicle. And then this here that's a little bit bigger is so that the cable can slide through. So that's one down, five to go. So with the new curtains, the layout that I'm liking is going to be to have the black on the outside to both help insulate as well as provide a bit of privacy and black out at night time. However, on these front ones, I think we're going to do that colour into the cabin because that's going to be a lot nicer to look at from the outside looking in as well as when you're driving, it'll sort of add to the space in there. And to be honest, from this side, I think having the lighter colour facing in Helps to keep the space inside feel a little bit more open than in having the black. So I'm going to chuck the magnets on and then I can show you the mechanisms that I've used for rails. So I've gone out and bought a couple of magnets and I've left slits in the bottom of here that they can slide into, which I will then sew up. And that should give it something to stick to on the van wall and help them sit a bit tighter instead of flapping in the breeze so much. Now, I don't know what any of this stuff's actually called, but the way I attached the curtains to the old one was by, by grabbing these little U-clips from Bunnings. I then bought a coil of wire with plastic coating so it's not gonna tear the material. Then I bought whatever this U-shaped thing is and these to run the wire through. So I, I measured the length that I needed them once I attached the clips where I wanted them to be. Measured out the wire, snipped it, ran it through there, crimped it down by smacking that little stopper with my hammer, and that's given me the wire. So all I have to do now to put my new curtains on is detach it from one side, run it through there again, then hopefully I've got my new curtains ready to go. So for now I'm still thinking black facing out, but it's not going to be hard to flip around the other way if I change my mind. Alrighty, 
ready. <laughs> nice and simple. Now the magnets I've added to these help them to stay together nicely at the bottom, as well as attaching to the sides of the van over here. Meaning that when it's shut, it does a much better job of keeping that light out. So I'm gonna be repeating that process for all the rest of them. And, and I'll show you the end result when it's all done. So that is now gonna make a massive difference in here. The magnets do a lot as well for just keeping it tucked in and sealing that gap a little bit. That's much nicer. I think that's come out really well. So now they also tuck away quite nicely. It's giving me plenty of vision through the van. And that is my super simple way of making some curtains for your van. I'm very happy with that. I think that's gonna look nice.